Hey guys, it's Tarko Cyclone FPV, and it's been a little while since I've put a video together here because I've been really busy getting ready, uh, getting some drone kits set up for some local schools, but um, I needed to put a video together today for a customer of mine, and I thought it would be a great idea to go ahead and put this together for some of the rest of you who are running into problems, again, with drivers and how to get the drivers loaded for your flight controller before you connect a beta flight. Now, here's the deal. The biggest misconception that I'm seeing in people, and, and, and I get this because, I mean, I've been in computers, you know, I, I owned a computer company for a long time and sold it, and during that time, I got very familiar with Computers. I mean, I started back when Windows, uh, when 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 DOS was still the big thing. You know, sorry, that's my phone going off here. Let me make sure I get everything taken care of. Yeah. Um, so you know, I mean, I was I was back back in the day, right? Um, uh, but nowadays, I understand that. I mean, people aren't that familiar with it. And one of the things that I'm noticing is that people are uh, downloading these third-party applications, right? Uh, um, and I've got some on the site here. I think if I can if I can show this, uh, let me switch over here. So I was looking at. I think it's Impulse. Uh, I'm going to open the web here. So I think it was this one here. And I believe that this is what a lot of people, including one of my customers, was using to try to get um, his driver to load properly. And the problem is, is if you don't know what you're supposed to be looking for, then you may think it worked and it didn't. Okay. Uh, the other thing is that just because your um, flight controller says that it's on a COM port does not mean that it's got the right protocol set up or the right driver set up to be able to communicate. And so a lot of people are thinking, well, my board's bad. In this case, it is very much um, not the board. It's going to be the driver itself. So I'm going to try to show you guys how to do this. And the board I'm going to be using today, um, sorry, let me fix this here. The board I'm going to be using today is going to be this uh, HDLRC Airbus F4 board, which is the board that the customer is trying to connect to, okay? And uh, I'm going to go ahead now, and I'm going to keep this screen up and uh, see if we can, uh, I don't know, I don't know. Let's see if we do it like this. Maybe this will be better. I don't know. Let's try um, let's try three screens. There we go. All right. So there's uh, right here in the middle. Uh, no, that way. Phew. That way is the computer, then me, and then this is the board that we're working with, right? So I think if I point that way, yeah, that's how it works. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to show you all three of these, and one of them is me, which has no bearing whatsoever. But I'm going to show you how to connect this properly. I'm going to show you what to look for, what you know, and I'm also going to show you how to do it. But we're going to go in the backwards process. So here's what we're going to do. First thing we're going to do is we are going to and keep these notes because this is going to help you quite a bit. I'm going to minimize this screen, and here you can see I've got beta flight, right? So I'm going to go ahead and plug the board in. All right, so here it goes. Okay. Now you hear the chime. Everybody always talks about, okay, now we've got the chime in Windows, and you can see that COM3 is at the top here, and I hope you can see that, but it's showing COM3. And when I connect, bam, I'm going to sh it's going to show connected. Now, <clears throat> since the board isn't mounted, it's going to look at this kind of like a crooked angle here. But uh, one of the things we're going to do while we're here is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to the CLI and we're going to type version, right? And we're going to see that it's running Omnibus F4. So write that down. Make sure you know that, okay? Now, I will show you where you can find this information. If you go to my website, which is right here, and you type in uh, Airbus, uh, just let's type that in. And you're going to see this screen here for the uh, HDLRC. This is the board we're talking about. If you click that link um, and you go to Video Instructions and Tutorials, now I've just put this on tonight so that it'll help you. And I'll put the video when I'm done. I'll put that here. But this is telling you that this is the firmware you need to use, okay? So make sure you know that because there are other options and a lot of people will brick their board because they loaded one version of Omnibus F4 but not the right one. So make sure you load the right one. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the fact that you know we can connect because we just did. We got into the CLI, right? We're going to wait for it to reboot now. So now we're back in. Everything looks good. Okay. So here's what you want to do. Um, what you want to do is you want to click your Start button here. Right-click on it, right? So just take the... Um, Take your mouse and hit the right click button and go left click on run. And under that, as you can see, I've got right there in the bottom corner there. Um, I hope you can see that. Um, let me see if I can make this a little bit better. Maybe it's just not going to work. Let's try it like this, okay? Because you don't really need to see the board right now. Um, you want to, let me start over. So you're going to right click and then left click on run and type the word control like you see it there, okay? What that's going to do, that's going to open your control panel. In your control panel, I want you to left click on device manager. All right, and what you're going to look for is the COM port. And if you see the COM port here, it's going to say ST Microelectronics Virtual COM port COM3. Now, that's what you should have as your driver. If what you see is COM1 or something other than this, you have a problem and you need to load the drivers that I've provided for you. So I'm going to show you how to do that by removing mine and starting over. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uninstall and I'm going to tell it to delete the software for the computer. So basically, we're taking this computer back to before these drivers were loaded properly. Okay, and I'm hoping that this will clean it up perfectly. So I'm going to now unplug my board, right? So it's right here. And I'm going to go ahead and plug it back in. Now, usually I would restart the computer. I'm going to see if I can get away with this without doing it. 
and we're gonna see uh, what it says, all right? So as you can see now, my, my driver says USB serial device COM3. Now this is what I see most of the time when a customer calls me and says, hey, my flight controller isn't working, I can't connect. Now on my computer, because I've had so many updates, uh, I will be able to connect. But for a lot of you who do not have the right updates or have not done the driver updates properly, you won't be able to, uh, or you're gonna have some problems along the way. So let's just get started with showing you how to do it the right way, and then we'll take it from there. Okay, so the first thing is this. First thing I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and head over to my website and go to the page, the uh, uh, Omnibus, remember, type Airbus F4 and get to this page and go to the link that says Video Instructions and Tutorials and click here. This is the ST uh, Microelectronics download. Click it and it's going to automatically download it. And I tested all these just to make sure the links worked. So here it is, right? So I'm going to go ahead and show it in the folder. All right. And there it is right there. So I'm going to extract this. And we're just going to go straight into that folder. And here it is right here. So double click it. All right. And you have, don't forget, you have your device driver or device manager loaded here. And here is your uh, message from Windows telling you it's going to install. And just watch your device manager. I mean, it's, it's going to be pretty cool. You can watch this. Whoops. I can close my downloads now. So, and I can close that one. Okay. So while that's installing, let me get this over here. I'm just going to close these out a little bit. But what I want you to do is I want you to see how it's going to change this. So I want to, uh, let's just say I want to uh, remove it. We're going to go ahead and remove it. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. what am I doing here? No, let me click cancel. Uh, yeah, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and remove it. I want to make sure we're perfectly cleaned up here, so I'm going to click yes. And that COM port driver and everything is now gone, okay? So once it's gone, we're going to go ahead and we're going to restart the computer. And you're going to lose the screen here in just a second. So um, because I can't screen share, obviously when the computer's off, I can't screen share, but we're going to go ahead and restart this. And then I'm going to give you the file on how to do it properly. All right. Well, I'm going to show you how to do it properly. So I would edit this video, and, but I don't feel like it. So you're going to have to stare at my ugly face for about another two minutes before we have something come back up on the screen. I look like a monkey. I'm sure my kids are proud of this video. <laughs> All right, so here we go. All right, we're going to go ahead and log back in. No, oh, you can't see that. That's right, I forgot. Let me go ahead and do this. Okay, so we're back in. So let me see now if I can share this back with you. Okay, I think that's going to give me my picture back. There we go. All right, so um, now what we want to do is we're going to do the same thing. Right click, run, go to our control panel, and go to our device manager, right? And under COM ports, we're going to see that we have our USB COM port. And then what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and load uh, the program that we just got done working on. So let me go to download, and then let me go to the folder. There it is. Let me run it. Yes. Next, next, and there you go, it's updated, okay? And as you can see now, when we did this, we have the full STM Electronics Virtual Com port loaded, okay? This is what you need to have. Once you get that done, you will be functioning under the correct driver and your board should be functioning properly from this point on. So let's just go and see. All right, so here we go. Connect. Obviously we showed that it worked before, but now you can see how you get the drivers to load it properly, okay? And then from there, you can go ahead and update your firmware. Now remember that when you do update your firmware, make sure that you load the proper driver. And in this case, uh, let me wait for this to populate real quick. Okay, Omnibus F4. Remember, do not go into these crazy zones of Omnibus F4, F4, FW, Nano 7, F4, SD, F4, V6, blah, blah, blah. Stick with F4, that's it. As far as your version goes, uh, you pick what you want here. I've been staying out of the fours, uh, but um, I'm not really sure you may you may want to go that route, okay? But uh, in either case, pick your firmware, and then you should be good to go. 
but just make sure that you have your driver loaded properly right here okay if you don't have that and you don't see that don't load all this other crap and say dig drivers and all this just you know either write me an email if you don't know which one to use for yours but there's pretty much going to be only two options so you can try this one or you can try the other one and if you want to try the other one uh let me show you what you would do so if you go to the website here and you go to our uh, blog post and tutorials and you click the plus and you go to tutorials you're gonna see oh let's see let's just type this and i think it's um where am i gonna do this i don't know let me see let's just type the word beginners Oops. okay my gosh beginners in our search thing i think it'll come up okay drones for beginners see that right there when you click that you're gonna see the links here, Silicon Labs, Silicon Labs, STM. This is the link I just gave you. This is the link for some other ones. Um, it's going to be one of these three, usually, usually. Now, if you have a problem and you can't get it to work, no problem, let me know. But when you start loading uh, these uh, other third-party apps to try to add the right driver, find the right driver, remove the driver, blah, 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 you start bogging down the system. And if you don't restart it properly, you don't do a few things or you skip a couple steps, it's going to get messed up. So just try this out. And this should probably help you quite a bit. Make sure to uninstall your driver like I showed you, though, where you right-click and delete it and remove the software from the device manager. It will make a difference. Um, and then restart your computer each time. I hope this helps, guys. It is a 10-minute video with my ugly face making uh, its debut again after being gone for a couple weeks. Uh, sorry, but that's the price you pay to um, get my help. You got to look at this ugly thing. All right, if you need anything, uh, hit me up, guys. Look, do me a favor. Help support me, please, by going to YouTube.com and uh, subscribing to Cyclone FPV. Uh, and then also, please like our Facebook page. Look, I've got these little buttons I'm still pushing. So the Facebook.com forward slash uh, Cyclone FPV. FPV. And then if you need to shoot me an email, uh, just hit me up at targetcyclonefpv.com. All right, that's all the buttons I got. I don't have any other cool stuff to play with. Uh, again, guys, God bless, safe flying, and uh, I'll uh, hope to hear from you if you need any help. See ya. Bye.